Hey guys, it's Chad, and I've got a solution for you. And today we're going to be talking about how to fix a forward head. So you might have seen the forward head, maybe you have the forward head, but you know it's, it's basically this thing right here, right? And we have a society, a big culture that is having this problem, this forward head problem. Just look around, and you'll kind of notice it a little bit more. But you know we get this forward head because of the positions that we're we're in all day and the directions that we're moving all day. So obviously sitting is a huge problem here. We can try to sit upright as much as we can. Eventually, we start inching closer to that computer. We start looking towards the phone. We start driving in the car. We sit on the couch, right? All those things make our body adapted to that position. We're supposed to have this nice upright spine where everything's aligned, everything moves better. But over time, our, our vertebrae start translating one in front of the other. And they're always moving forward, but they're never moving back. And our body has all these joints, right? But if we're always moving one direction and never moving in the other, those joints will lose the mobility, right? So we're going to show you some ways to gain, regain that mobility back, OK? But this is a big issue. For one, it doesn't look good. Uh, but for two, you know, it's going to cause some problems in range of motion. You won't be able to look up all the way. You won't be able to look left and right and side bend. Um, and eventually it will lead to pain uh, in the form of tingling or numbness down the arm. You're very likely to bulge or herniate a disc. Uh, and obviously the, the biggest one that we see that you're going to get some symptoms early on from is the headaches. Uh, so the easiest way to think of this is uh, you know, when we start protruding our head forward, we start making these muscles, specifically the muscles right under the, the skull, <laughs> bust. We call those suboccipital muscles. Those muscles have to work really, really hard just to hold your head up. And when, when muscles have to work really hard, they're going to get angry and they're going to feel like they have to have a massage, right? So in terms of alignment, think of it like this. If I was going to hold a bowling ball in my hands and I had it nice and balanced, right, in such a way that it wasn't too much stress on all these muscles, everything would kind of be OK. But as soon as I take that hand and cock it, even just a little bit forward, it's going to be more stress on all these muscles, and they're going to get very tired and very angry as well. And the more forward I cock that hand, the harder it is for me to, to be happy in this area, right? So, um, and that's what happens with us. You can even see this in the elderly. They come forward so much, and then all of a sudden, it hits a tipping point, and they can't move up. So those are the problems. Let's talk about some solutions. Uh, so we're going to show you a chin tuck or chin retraction. Main thing here is you want to be in an upright position as much as you can. Some people may even may still be stuck here, but just go ahead and try to get yourself as upright as you can. You're going to keep your chin parallel to the ground. Take your other hand and just retract back as far as you can. And you may make a double chin. Just hang in there. You may uh, feel some shortage of air. Just breathe through your nose. Retract back as far as you can. All the way. Something you don't want to do is look up, right? That's not what we're going for here. We're going for that straight translation where one vertebrae comes back on top of the other. So all the way back, and make sure you're not looking down. It's a straight retraction back. Some people will only go about a centimeter, and that's OK. If you're there, just keep hanging out there, working in that area, and you're going to eventually break through those restrictions and restore that range of motion, but it takes a lot of work. Think about doing about 10 reps or so. Once you feel comfortable with that, and you're going all the way to the end range, and you want to make sure you're not having any tingling or numbness down your arm. If you do, that's a red flag. But once things are good, you can take things further. You can retract and then extend up all the way. Retract and extend up all the way. And what you're doing there is expressing the full range of motion that you're supposed to have that you've lost as a consequence of living in that flexion-based society and sitting all the time. So to take this even further, you can retract, extend back, do a little wiggle at the end while you press over your head. Give it a good, firm press all the way. So that's a, a, a way that you can completely open up all the range of motion in your neck there and start restoring uh, your natural alignment that you're supposed to have. So the next thing we want to do once we've mobilized that spine area is stabilize it. We want to do some things so it stays there and it's strong and we're, we have the strength to maintain that position. So something you can carry with you. 
while you're sitting at your workspace is a TheraBand. So these are really cheap, they're awesome, they're minimalistic, uh, you can take them anywhere. Uh, so many things you can do with them, but just take it, wrap it, fingers like so, take it behind your head, elbows forward, and what you're gonna do is that little protrusion, and then retract back as far as you can. Protrusion, retract. And this is how you, you work those muscles. This is great for releasing a lot of tension in there because you're getting those muscles to contract, relax, contract, relax. And you'll start feeling better immediately. We use this on a lot of people with neck pain and get very good results from it. So this can also be done in standing. So real simple, same, same things you want to think about. Stand up straight, stand up tall. You don't want to be slumping and, and do that. You're going to slam into your vertebrae pretty well. So nice and tall, retract back. Option two, retract back and wiggle. And then think about the TheraBand. So same thing. So those are things that people that are at standing desk can do. We have to be mindful that even though we're at a standing desk and maybe we're not sitting, there's still issues with being at a standing desk. We're still moving in that direction. We're still living in a world where we're driving in that direction. So we call this stuff spinal hygiene, right? You want to think of this like, just like brushing your teeth. You brush your teeth so you don't get cavities and you, you know, your teeth, teeth are white. Same thing here. You want to stand up straight in a world that's always sitting, and these are some tools that you can use um, to keep you that way. So I will say some other things you want to think about are extending the thoracic spine. We've got some great videos on that, so check that out. And uh, we're going to provide a link so you can uh, check out some TheraBands. So that's a great solution to fixing your forward head. Uh, if you want some more solutions, check us out at sittingsolution.com. Thank you.